Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. I have a new pick a card for you guys today, and today's pick a card is a little bit all over the place. I'm titling it, at least what I've decided to title it, is Messages from Your Person, but we're also going to take a look at the past energy of your connection, what they're currently feeling, then of course the messages, and I'm also throwing in some songs, so like I said, a little bit all over the place, but it should be a good interesting reading nonetheless as always um well not as always i have three piles for you guys to choose from and starting with the left pile one is hulk he is back pile two is like the heart doctor i call it the doc i guess it's more of a doctor thing so we're just gonna call it the doctor okay and pile three is the volleyball so timestamps are in the description box and in the comment section if you guys don't like spoilers you might want to go with what's in the description box versus what's in the comment section so that way you don't feel like you have some hints on what to pick but either way meet you guys at your pile hi pile one welcome to your guys's pick card reading Today's reading is titled Messages from Your Person, but like I said in the intro, there's going to be a little bit more that we're looking into, right? And that will explain this big stack. You guys can't see it, but there's quite a big stack for each of these piles. And songs are going to be chosen at the end. That's the only thing that hasn't been pre-selected. I never really pre-select those anyways. I don't plan to. I don't have anything else to say. If you guys are new to my channel, hello and welcome. For those of you subscribed, recent subscribers, if you guys have been with me since the beginning, thank you guys so much for your support. It means the world to me. I'm so grateful for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to take a look at what energies we can find out, what clues we have. I am starting out with your past energy of your connection. No clarifiers for these. These are just tarot. I gave you guys four. I think I gave the other piles five. I might pull another card for you guys. Unless I get enough detail with this. Like I said, these aren't being clarified anyways. But we're going to take a look. The page of hats, which is the page of cups in reverse. The eight of oysters which is the Eight of Pentacles in traditional tarot. We have Judgment. And we have the Hermit in reverse. I'm going to pull one more. I have the deck here. I'm going to shuffle, pull that extra card. I honestly didn't remember on the other piles if I did four or five. And the other piles I did five, so I'm going to do five for you guys. I'm going to pull the fifth card. King of Peppermills in reverse. That's the King of Wands in reverse. Sorry, I know this one's a little tricky. It took me a second to get this one down, but it is what it is. It's still fun. It's still tarot. Okay. Oh boy. I feel like your person, Pylon, did not want to give up their flirtatious ways, didn't really come forward with any action there was work being done but it was one-sided i am completely just going by what i'm getting right now which is really crazy but this is what spirit is feeding to me right now and there was a decision being made and it's like from what i see on the card even like both of you are just kind of sitting at a table and you're like nope no more no more none of this kind of thing and so not the best energy. No offer came forward. And also with the Page of Hats. They're kind of a little bit lopsided. For some reason that's the word that came through. Lopsided. So the connection wasn't entirely balanced. And probably because it was one of you was more invested than the other. Anything else? No, just lopsided. Like, lopsided is the key word for you guys for some reason. I I don't even remember the last time I said that word. That's what I'm getting. A lot of reversals. I don't usually read reversals. This one, um, that deck, this deck actually, I, it's split. So whatever, it's 
upright or reverse. That's what I use. So I usually don't use it on the channel. But there you go. So that's what I have as far as your past energy. So what we're going to take a look at next. I actually want to clarify one card though. Can we clarify the Hermit in Reverse? Let's clarify that Hermit in Reverse. I have my traditional tarot. Like not wanting to go within. Not really wanting to do the work to get better, to make this happen. Yeah. And not wanting, not bringing that stability because that's what it is. When you go within, you find that stability and all those answers of why you are who you are and you find the stability within yourself, right? When you go into hermit mode and you go into this spiritual kind of journey almost. So with the 10 of pentacles showing up here and this one is, it's all upright. But what it's telling me is that there was this lack of balance, just completely lopsided. There's really no other way of putting it. It's just that it was completely lopsided. All right, I'm going to move this card out of the way because this will probably confuse me on the next part. I'm going to leave those cards there. We're going to take a look at what the past energy, not the past energy, your current person's current feelings towards you. There we go. We have the moon. I'm going to stack these on top. Temperance and the Ten of Wands. Let's clarify these. I just have to find those other cards. Mm, the lovers. Page of Swords and the Nine of Staffs. So we do have some Sag energy here. Quite a bit of Sag energy. We do have Gemini energy. We also have some Pisces. A thought just came to me. I hate when this happens. I had a thought. Okay. It was the moon. I, got, I remember. <laughs> I remember what it was. And your person is afraid of this connection. Your person is afraid of not being able to handle this type of connection, the depth of it, the intensity of it. For some of you, because of the lovers here, it is one of these more spiritually focused type connections. And it's intense. It's a lot to have to go through and learn through learn it's a it's a journey put it mildly it's a journey and for the rest of you it's just that your person might kind of be afraid of having to really again going back to want not wanting to let go of their ways and how they are and being very flirtatious very outgoing with the opposite sex or the same sex whoever you know take it <laughs> resonates on that but your person, it's kind of like resisted it, didn't want to, like, this is how I am, this is my life. And so with you, it's, they're afraid of it, it scares them. Because even though they are scared of it, at the same time, it's like this addiction. And I don't want to say addiction, but it's the word that's coming out and that's the word I'm going to use. And that's how they kind of see it. We have temperance. And is trying to find that moderation, trying to figure things out. And with the Page of Swords, I do feel like your person is watching you, keeping an eye on you and your social media in one way or another. You know, if you don't have other social media, then they're asking through friends and family. They're, there's some way that they're keeping an eye on you. Just look at it that way, okay? And that's what I'm getting. And it's almost like they're just... I feel like they're watching you to kind of figure out your, mm, not your love language or anything, or kind of just what goes and what doesn't, where your boundaries are, trying to get hints about you, trying to figure things out, but at the same time, trying to find a way, how do I make this work out? How will it be good enough for this person if I do approach them? And then we have the 10 of wands and the nine of staffs not the best energy. Yeah, we're approaching this cycle ending, but there's a lot of, overall, this energy is kind of heavy pile one. 
overall, not just with this pile, but just everything. There's so much resistance, so much like I'm standing with my feet on the ground. I am not budging. I am not moving almost energy. And yet at the same time, they can't deny that they have this connection to you. They can't deny the feelings that they have, but they're trying to push it back. That's what that card is. They're pushing back their feelings like, nope, I don't want to deal with it. Nope, I don't want to feel it. Nope, I don't want nothing with it. And so I know it comes out sounding harsh because it's like, oh, well, then that he doesn't want anything or she doesn't want to have anything to do with me. And I get it. I completely understand that. It's very frustrating type of feeling when the person you want doesn't want you, right? And it's, what can you do? You can't do anything. You can't force them. But, so you have the nine of staffs down here, and they're just kind of, I just get kind of just watching. I get a lot of watching energy with these two cards. Because the, um, the nine of staffs in the traditional tarot is the one where the guy is just looking off into the distance. It's like he's keeping guard, like he's watching. It's almost like if you approach them, it just sends them into this panic mode because they don't know what to do. What, where do I go? How do I do this? You know, how do I deal with this? So that's the tarot. Um, let's get your oracle cards. Because I did pull some of those. Stabbed in the back. So maybe a little bit more reason of why there's that ten of wands. But we'll take a look into that in a second. We have healing family issues. Busy bee. And love yourself. Your person is staying busy to avoid this connection. They don't want to focus on it. They, Like I said, they don't want, they're just avoiding it. There's so much resistance, resistance, lopsided. That's why if you just feel like they're not there, you're not wrong. The cards are telling me they're not, they're not trying to invest in this. We have the healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So your person might, you know, with the temperance, kind of figuring things out, trying to heal possibly, but I don't feel too much of that energy from them. There's so much negative, like low energy here, those low vibes. There's no cards here indicating love. There's no, yes, we have the lovers here, but a that's used as a clarifier to the moon. The moon's about fears and illusions. So your person's afraid of commitment. And not only that, you have the stabbed in the back. So for a lot of you, your person knows that they stabbed you in the back. And I feel like because they couldn't give you what you wanted, they didn't give you this connection, the love you wanted, the attention you wanted. And also because we're going back to the very beginning of what the past energy was, where they're like this player, flirt, you know, go out, do whatever. They weren't really committed to you or this connection and honestly they still aren't I don't see that they're avoiding it and the love yourself really what I'm getting with this is almost kind of like you deserve someone better you know show yourself the love that you deserve and so if you guys are chasing this person stop please stop because all that you're going to do is end up pushing this person further and further away from you. And this person is, they have some work to do. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little, sorry, I cut off. I'm a little bit nervous to see what messages are going to come out. Because the messages are, you know, that's what they have to say to you. Is it where they're going to show the opposite? Possibly. But from what I'm seeing here, it's not the best. There's, like I said, there's a lot of resistance, a lot of pushback, a lot of avoidance. Lopsided. Keyword. Lopsided. I swear, I don't use that word a lot. So that's Spirit's word for your connection, pile one. Let's get to the messages. And oh, who am I going to start off with? I have... Um, there's three. Three decks I'm using. I'm going to use this one. Use my... Yeah, see? I see the potential for a future with you. And part of that fear is because they know this is something else and they're not ready for it. They're not ready to handle this 
change. They're not ready to move forward in this direction of committing when they're having so much fun being single. But they see more with you and it's like the past of who they are and who they have been. And then it's like, okay, when they think of the future, they don't see themselves that way anymore because they see it with you and that see the potential with for a future with you actually holds a lot of weight to it. When you think about the energy that's coming forward, it's like your person just wants to have fun right now and they're not ready for this connection. But at the same time, they see a possibility for a future with you. But see, this is where you guys are not in alignment. So this is what we're talking about when we talk about being in alignment and um, divine timing, a lot of the divine timing kind of comes down to us in a way because what we're ready for, what we're vibrationally aligned to, right? And that's kind of where that comes in, that whole talk. A lot lately, a lot of talk lately about being vibrationally aligned and that's what it comes down to. You guys are not on the same page, not on the same page. Yeah, I'm afraid of commitment. I run from my feelings. So there you go, right? The moon and the lovers, the, that fear of love, that fear of deep commitment, deep love. And maybe they've been stabbed in the back. Who knows? Maybe they've stabbed other people in the back because of this fear. It can go either way, right? My life isn't the same without you. My life is empty and lonely without you. What can I say to that one? <laughs> should I be a smart ass or should I be quiet <laughs> when it comes to that one? I mean, obviously I'm going to side with you guys, pile one, mostly. I mean, if you, this is your energy, then don't take it the wrong way, <laughs> but actions always come with consequences, whether they're positive or negative. And life isn't the same without you. Well, you don't have room to cry. <laughs> you don't have the right to be feeling like upset, feel upset with you. But it's the message, I know. So not to be all bitter and salty about it. <laughs> but that's just how I feel about it. Anyways, moving on. I don't know how or when but I fell in love with you. And that fear... There's a lot of fears with your person, so there is healing that needs to be done. Are they really healing? I have, I mean, there's one card indicating it, but like I said, from what I'm getting over here, there's been so much resistance. There's still, like, this is their current feelings. The Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands. It's just like they're afraid, like it's almost like they're avoiding it, hoping it that their feelings will go away and instead their life is empty and lonely without you and no matter how much they fight it it's like they're just fighting 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 and the you know spirits like yeah keep trying <laughs> it's not working you know so it's not going in their favor let's use this deck next i promise i'll never let go i'm so cold without you you guys have two of those kind of I'm so cold without you my life isn't the same without you just feeling those repercussions right what have we done I kind of always look at it as how what, how, what have I done kind of thing and that's what I get with that and karma so they might be getting karma for some of you forgiveness please forgive me and this is for that stabbed in the back card that they're asking forgiveness for I've got four more messages and then we'll get to your songs there's so much unspoken between us. I need to tell you how I really feel. So your person has been hiding and not expressing anything and they want to. And until they heal though, and until they face these fears, I don't see that happening just yet, you know. Depends on everybody, the general reading, of course. Life has been empty without you guys. You guys. Three all three decks, three different decks talking about how life has been empty. My life is empty and lonely without you. My life has been empty without you. I try to distract myself by going out with my friends. So yeah, avoidance, not wanting to deal with this. 
again, you guys are on different pages. I'm sure for a lot of you, Pile 1, you want more with this person. You want more commitment. You want that loyalty and that love. And your person right now, they're not ready yet. I don't see it. I knew you were right, but couldn't admit it to my self or you. So whatever you said to this person, whatever comments you made, they know you were right. They just couldn't accept it. And why? Because of their ego. There's a lot of ego here, and that's possibly why they think they don't know how the heart operates. That's why they think they can just push the feelings away, and their heart's like, no. <laughs> it's like your heart. their heart is beating for you, and the ego is trying to shut it up, but the ego doesn't understand that the heart operates from a higher consciousness, a higher level. It's totally different. Anyways, next one. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. So maybe your person is healing pile one. Maybe a little bit. I don't feel big significance. Like I said, your person has a lot of work, a lot of fears, a lot of insecurities to push through in order to be that person that you want. Whether or not you wait for this person is entirely up to you. If you guys are twin flames, then you guys already know the drill. It's... You guys are just... Either way, whether or not you're twin flame or not, you guys are just not matching up. That's why some relationships work and don't work because you guys are not on the same page. You're not vibrationally aligned. That's all it comes down to. Just look at it that way. When you're on the same page, you guys are vibrationally aligned. You guys are meeting, I don't know, eye to eye, heart to heart, you know, look at it that way. And that's just a different way of looking at that saying and that expression so that it makes sense and it's not just like I know we come up with all these different phrases and words and spirituality and it seems like we're over complicating the simplest of things so I kind of hope that I at least kind of break it down for you guys a little bit so it's a little bit more easier to understand what we mean by being vibrationally aligned it's just meaning that you guys are on the same page you guys want the same things you guys have done the same amount of healing all that other stuff all that stuff coming together and and that you guys really do want the same things but as far as your person goes there's resistance there's pushback there's avoidance there's fears there's insecurities i the list i know goes on and on which i do not like but whether or not again you wait for this person it's up to you i am doing songs so let's do let's do four songs because i did do four messages from each of the piles and then we'll close out your reading pile one I'm asking what song they want to dedicate to you, okay? This is how I'm phrasing it, Pile 1. So, Pile 1. Unbreak My Heart, Tony Braxton. Wow, Say You Love Me Again. That's the one that just came out to me. Mm, circles post Malone I feel like your person might have gone into some cycles with you but I feel like this is repetitive in their love life Ooh, apologize Timbaland featuring one Republic yeah wanting forgiveness and apology differences genuine so you guys got some really good songs some very like r&b type vibes a little bit um but yeah pile one it like i said this one's up to you guys what you decide to do but don't expect any movement right away i just don't see it happening because if they were close to being ready to take action and move towards you i wouldn't see the energy that i did they wouldn't be trying to push this connection away. If someone's ready for love, they're not trying to avoid it. So that's what I have. I hope this resonates. Let me know if it did, you guys. I love hearing your guys' stories. I try to reply to as many as I can, but then I get cut up in other things too, and personal has been taking up my time too. So that's what I have. Let me know though. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you get notified when I post another pick a card. My Instagram link is in the description box. Same name, doesn't really change. And for personals, 
I have maybe a couple different readings I have left in my shop. Like I said, I've been busy <laughs> with personals, so I do not see it being restocked, possibly not until the end of next week. And that's just to give me a little bit of a break in between to get my energy back to where I want it to be before I dive back into another book <laughs> of readings. But if you guys are interested, just check next week or, you know, depending on when you view it. If you're viewing it this week, you know, opening weekend or debut weekend of the reading, then yeah. But either way, thank you guys for your time, Pile 1, and hope to see you on the next one. Bye. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your Pick a Card reading, you guys. I have renamed this one Dr. Love. <laughs> this charm is now been dubbed dr love so you guys have dr love in your pile maybe there's some healing that needs to be done i don't know we'll see what's what's up with your connection to so those of you new to my channel hello and welcome for those of you that have been subscribed thank you guys so much whether you're recent or you've been with me since the very beginning thank you guys so much for your support today's reading is titled messages from your person but we're taking a look at the past energy we're looking at your person's current feelings we're going to get those messages, and I am throwing in some songs as well. So this should be a pretty good rating. Pile 1 was very interesting, and um, we'll see what comes up for you guys. So everything is sorted out, everything's pre-shuffled. The only thing left is the songs, right? It's a pretty thick <laughs> pile, I'm not going to lie. So I'm kind of digging through right now to see where I need to get the cards. All right. So what we're starting off with is the past energy. I kind of wanted to get an idea of what was going on. What's the past energy of your connection? And this should help you guys too at the same time, because if this doesn't really resonate or it doesn't make sense to you, then you might want to go choose another pile before you sit through the whole thing. Right. But you can listen to your intuition. Maybe one of the messages is meant for you. It's up to you guys. You guys have your own intuitions. So we have the star to begin with in reverse. The hanged man. The world. The ace of flamingos. And the page of flamingos. Page of Flamingos, the Flamingos are swords. Sorry, you guys. These are swords. Are they swords? Yeah, they're swords. <laughs> I had to think for that about a second. There's been some hope lost in this connection. There's been no movement. Things just seem to be so stagnant. Nothing's happening. Nothing's... There's no offer here. There's no new beginning. There's no stable beginning. There's no one coming forward with an offer. There's no type of communication, I feel like. And really, you're kind of this Alice. Like, kind of like, is it over? Is it not over? Is What's going on here? Pretty quick and simple, right? Those, that's all there is. Imagine if I did a reading like that. I'm like, okay, your reading's done. <laughs> that's it, pile two. You guys know. I have more. So that's... The past energy so very stagnant no action and it's kind of sad with the star in reverse usually the star is a very positive card to see where there's hope there's optimism and it's like it's gone it's gone all right so we're gonna take a look at your person's current feelings towards you these are gonna go on top of these cards so we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is their feelings towards you. Justice. The Seven of Swords. Oh, we love that Seven of Swords, right? Usually it's not a good... I mean, yeah, it can be good sometimes. Most of the time, let's be honest, it's not good. So, Queen of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Your person sees you as this very, I 
appearing sexy. This very sexy, single, independent type individual. Whether you're female or male, just energy. Take it how it resonates. The Queen of Cups. But you're also very loving, very nurturing, kind, warm-hearted, very considerate. Some of you are very empathic. You connect to people very easily. It's where people are just drawn to you. And you have that connection, but you're just that person, you know, you have that shoulder to cry on, you're the one with the tissue box, you're someone that people can go to for advice, and you just have it all together, you're very grounded, very loving type of individual pile too. And your person wants to bring justice, plain and simple, they want to bring justice because you guys have walked away. And that's possibly where that star's energy has come from. You just kind of lost hope and walked away. And, you know, if it's in reverse where they lost hope and they walked away, just take it however it resonates, whatever the storyline is and who did what. But, you know, how I'm reading it is just that you walked away and they want to bring justice. They want to bring balance back into this connection. So it's not where they've entirely lost hope. I feel like it's more on whoever walked away is the person who lost hope right? Because they're like, what's the point? Nothing's happening. Nothing's going on. What am I waiting for? Kind of vibes. And then we have the seven of swords. And like I said, yeah, in certain cases, it can be good. But even with the four of staffs, what I was getting right away with that is that they feel like they self-sabotaged this connection. They were deceptive towards you and the connection and each other. Like you just, they weren't honest about it. And they didn't bring stability into this connection by their past actions and possibly that's why you lost hope and it triggered that separation and disconnect of communication or it's not coming forward anymore let's get your oracle cards i did draw some oracle cards we have i like you stay optimistic about your love life so one of you is not hopeful and optimistic, which might be you, Pile 2. You might be like, what am I doing? And then your person's trying to stay hopeful and optimistic. Empathy overload. New home. With the empathy overload, your person understands why you walked away. That's why that justice is here. That's what I was saying before. Like They want to bring justice. They understand why you walked away. They know they did, they did you dirty. That they didn't treat you with the respect that you deserve. They didn't treat this connection, this love, with, you know, the way that they should have been treated. And so they understand it. And they know that they really do care about you. And they do like you. Anything else? Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Want to date. So possibly just wanting to reconnect. I feel like for a lot of you, this is someone who does want to reconcile with you. And then a new home. They might just want to have a new beginning with you and start over. For some of you, yes, it might be where your person is thinking about, let's move in together. Let's start our life. Like, I messed up. I just want to make things right. Let's start over as a couple, which is a lot when you got this energy right, when you got deceptive energy. But you guys know how bad it is. For each of you, it's probably going to be different. I feel for a lot of the collective, it's usually about the same type of um, scenario in a better is the best word I can use best word I can use there we go anything else not really that that covers those cards so pretty fast reading for you guys pile two and uh, I'm just trying to make sure if there's anything else I can add anything else that I was getting but not really not really so let's get to your messages Let's start with these. This passion I feel for you drives me crazy. All I want is you. It's still in the frame. You didn't deserve to be treated the way I treated you. I'm sorry. I replay what I did wrong. Would you take me back? So there's those thoughts. I get the feeling you don't trust me. So your person knows that they weren't trustworthy. Um, there's someone else distracted by karmic so this could be either or when I read that card it's always it could be you that they feel you know this is their messages to you though but it could be that they know that there's someone else possibly and that's that you've lost hope and you're moving on with your life 
or it could be that they're like there's someone else I'm distracted by a karmic you know and that could be we have the septa player once a player always a player right <laughs> I don't know we'll see I guess it depends on the person but that's the first four messages let's get the next four I'm gonna stack them on this side thank you for being you my light in the darkness you have guarded and you know with this especially with the queen of cups you're that kind of like that empath and that light and dark I remember memories past lives so your person just remembers and it can be maybe things you've said to one another things you guys have shared in person or online whatever the case may be and for some of you literally past lives there's some people that are getting images from past lives i remember in one of these pick a card readings i was getting past life images so maybe your person knows too i've been watching you jealousy so that there's someone else card might be that they see someone else interested in you someone else flirting with you someone else kind of slowly taking their place or trying to take their place and not knowing whether or not you're being receptive to it but i feel like jealousy they probably you probably are a little bit and kind of bothers them i feel you inside me and it drives me insane magnetism I feel like they just can't walk away from you. There's this connection. That's very different for them. Let's get the rest of your messages and we'll get songs next. Our relationship was different and special. Other people didn't understand it. Kind of what I was just <laughs> saying. Um, that, yeah. I couldn't go against my family to be with you. So harsh. I don't know. That one hurts, you guys. <laughs> I mean, it's good that someone's so, um, I guess reliant and can count on their family for opinion, but at the same time, it's like, well, aren't you old enough to decide what's best for your own happiness, and aren't you old enough to decide, you know, to make your own decisions of whether or not you really want to pursue someone, so it's like, I don't know, I mean, unless you met this person's family before and they have something against you, but if you've never met them, then it seems kind of fishy in a way, you know? But I don't know, it depends. You guys let me know if you can resonate with that one or not. I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath, and that's where this I feel you inside me and it drives me crazy. When I think of this, I kind of feel like the tel telepathy, whatever is that the right word of <laughs> saying it, uh, that connects and just being able to talk to one another through just spirit, your 5D selves. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. Is it because of their own insecurities that they let their family influence them? In a way, you know, like, is it like they're looking for excuses almost? You guys kind of see where I'm going kind of with it? Like, um, maybe that's why there was no offer, there was no movement, because they had their own insecurities, but at the same time, it's like, well, I'm insecure, I have fears. Sorry, cut off pile too, but I was going to say, like, passing the blame on to their family, so kind of covering up that they're fearful and they're already scared and then if their family tells them well no you shouldn't do that you shouldn't go after this person then it's like I don't know it just doesn't make sense to me you guys that's how it is for me I just don't get it because I just get that you can be I mean it depends on the cultural things too I don't know, personally for me, it's like if that's the kind of energy a family can have that's negative, then I'm like, I don't want to deal with someone like that, you know? So I don't know how about you guys, how you feel about your person, but if this was my person and they told me that I couldn't go against my family to be with you and I ghosted you because of my own insecurities, I'd be like, 
Well, obviously I wasn't enough because when someone is enough, they're willing to do what they have to, to be with this person, you know? And I get that fears are going to, fears hold everyone back. But if they feel this magnetism and they feel so drawn to you and they're choosing not to, then it's like, oh, where's the hold up here? You know? I don't know. But let's get your songs. And the way that I awarded this for Pile 1 is what songs do they want to dedicate to you, okay? So I'm going to choose four because I chose four messages from each of those piles, those decks, I mean. And we're going to do four songs. So let's do the first one. I'm trying to get this is a song. There we go. Say Something, A Great Big World with Christina Aguilera. star in reverse, right? Lost hope. I'm giving up on you. Kind of thing. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Destiny's Child. That song comes out a lot, you guys. I don't know if you are all like Destiny's Child fan or just I guess the lyrics apply to this one. Need you now, Lady Antebellum. Okay, just one. It's like the other ones get stuck. Stay, Rihanna. All right, so. Do I see movement for you guys? Uh, I can't even see what the cards are below. Um, it, they're thinking about it. Your person is thinking about making movement. They know they've done you wrong, that they were deceptive, that they weren't honest, that they let their fears get the best of them. And they let their family control their decisions. So maybe some growing up to do um, to, you know, I feel like your family is always going to have something to say no matter what. You know, you can't control. There's always different personalities. And ultimately, your family should want your happiness, right? And if your family doesn't support your happiness, then it's like, I'm going to do what I need to do. That's my approach. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of a rebel kind of outlook on love. But if you really want to be with someone, then there shouldn't be anything too major that's stopping you and it feels like this person just I don't know they were deceptive and stabbed you in the back that's all I have pile two so that's where I end your reading for personals I I have not restocked the shop I was telling pile one I don't expect to restock it probably not until the end of next week depending on when you view this reading if you view it, you know, right away, then this makes sense. Otherwise, if you view it two months from now, then who knows what, what status my store is at. But the link is in the description box. So if you guys are interested in personals, yes, I still do those. I am adding a new one that I just did. I actually do love it. And I might be doing one general of it in the future. I will let you guys know. I've, it's been going really awesome. I feel like it's better doing it as a personal than a general, but I'll let you guys know. I might have to do more piles for that, so we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. And But other than that, it, thank you guys for your time. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, the bell. Click on that bell icon so you get notified when I post pick a card readings. And my Instagram link is in the description box as well. There's other readings I've been posting. Maybe some of these messages appeared in one of those piles in the last pick a card I did. But either way, thank you guys so much again for your time, your support, and hope to see you on the next one by Pile 2. Sorry, cut off Pile 2, but I was going to say, like, passing the blame on to their family, so kind of covering up that they're fearful and they're already scared and then if their family tells them well no you shouldn't do that you shouldn't go after this person then it's like i don't know it just doesn't make sense to me you guys that's how it is for me i just don't get it because 
I just get that you can be, I mean, it depends on the cultural things too. I don't know, personally for me, it's like if that's the kind of energy a family can have that's negative, then I'm like, I don't want to deal with someone like that, you know? So I don't know how about you guys, how you feel about your person, but if this was my person and they told me that I couldn't go against my family to be with you and I cheat ghosted you because of my own insecurities, I'd be like, well, obviously I wasn't enough because when someone is enough, they're willing to do what they have to, to be with this person, you know? And I get that fears are gonna, fears hold everyone back. But if they feel this magnetism and they feel so drawn to you and they're choosing not to, then it's like, oh, where's the hold up here? You know? I don't know. But let's get your songs. And the way that I awarded this for Pile 1 is what songs do they want to dedicate to you, okay? So I'm going to choose four because I chose four messages from each of those piles, those decks, I mean. And we're going to do four songs. So let's do the first one. I'm trying to get this is a song. There we go. Say Something, A Great Big World with Christina Aguilera. star in reverse, right? Lost hope. I'm giving up on you. Kind of thing. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. Destiny's Child. That song comes out a lot, you guys. I don't know if you are all like Destiny's Child fan or just I guess the lyrics apply to this one. Need you now, Lady Antebellum. Okay, just one. It's like the other ones get stuck. Stay, Rihanna. All right, so. Do I see movement for you guys? Uh, I can't even see what the cards are below. Um, it, they're thinking about it. Your person is thinking about making movement. They know they've done you wrong, that they were deceptive, that they weren't honest, that they let their fears get the best of them. And they let their family control the decisions. So maybe some growing up to do. Um, to, you know, I feel like your family is always going to have something to say no matter what. You know, you can't control. There's always different personalities. And ultimately, your family should want your happiness, right? And if your family doesn't support your happiness, then it's like, I'm going to do what I need to do. That's my approach. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of a rebel kind of outlook on love. But if you really want to be with someone, then there shouldn't be anything too major that's stopping you. And it feels like this person just... I don't know, they were deceptive and stabbed you in the back. That's all I have, pile two. So that's where I end your reading. For personals, I, I have not restocked the shop. I was telling pile one, I don't expect to restock it, probably not until the end of next week, depending on when you view this reading. If you view it, you know, right away, then this makes sense. Otherwise, if you view it two months from now, then who knows what? <laughs> what status my store is at but the link is in the description box so if you guys are interested in personals yes i still do those i am adding a new one that i just did i actually do love it and i might be doing one general of it in the future i will let you guys know I've, it's been going really awesome i feel like it's better doing it as a personal than a general but i'll let you guys know I might have to do more piles for that so we'll see we'll see how that turns out and but other than that it, thank you guys for your time if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to my channel the bell click on that bell icon so you get notified when i post pick a card readings and my instagram link is in the description box as well there's other readings i've been posting maybe some of these messages appeared in one of those piles in the last pick a card i did but either way thank you guys so much again for your time your support and 
hope to see you on the next one. Bye, Pile 2. Hi, Pile 3. Welcome to your Pick a Card reading. We are taking a look at messages from your person, but like I said in the intro, it's a little bit all over the place because I'm also throwing in what is the past energy of your connection, what is your person's current feelings towards you, and then we are doing messages as well as songs, and so there's quite a bit to cover. Everything is already pre-shuffled and selected except for the songs. I will do that at the end as I usually do, so let's get started and find out. We're going to start off with what is the past energy. Kind of wanted to get a vibe for that before we jumped into everything else, right? That makes sense. So we have the Knight of the Flamingos. This is the Eight of Cups. It's the Eight of Hats, but it's the Eight of Cups in traditional. The Three of Swords in reverse. The King of Hats. And the Two of Pentacles. Oh, okay. A little bit all over the place. A little bit emotional, a little bit going on. So, I'm getting in and out energy. Right away with this Flamingos, it's like one minute here, the next minute gone. And gone like that. Your person is just not consistent. I'm not getting consistency. I'm not getting stability. It's just like you don't know what's going on with them. Like you can't keep up. It's like you're here, you're there. What do you want? <laughs> it's kind of the energy I'm picking up on for this. And this Eight of Cups, I feel like you're like, I can't keep up with this anymore. I can't keep, my head keeps spinning of how fast you come in and out of my life. And there's no stability. There's no structure. I don't know what's even going on out of it. And so I feel like you walked away and you're finally starting to heal from this disappointment, from this heartbreak that is caused, has been caused by this night of flamingos which is a knight of swords and traditional tarot and then we have the king of hats and i feel like this is your person that we're picking up on now i feel like the for these three cards are your person i feel like these are you guys okay i feel like that's you pile three you guys are the volleyball pile by the way and so the king of hats normally is very comfortable in his emotions very self-aware very mature type of emotions but with the king of hats in reverse uh, king of hats king of cups in reverse i feel like he's a little bit more emotional he's a little bit more expressive of his emotions might be i'm getting a little bit more frustrated a little bit angry at himself and now he doesn't know what to do he's like i don't know what the hell to do well, you were in and out so often, so it makes sense you don't know what to do. And you're just like, I just don't have time for this. You need to figure out what you want. I'm going on my merry way. That's kind of what I get for you guys, Pile 3. So let's see what their current feelings are towards you, Pile 3. I have a stack of cards. I kind of have to go through all of these to figure out what I got. I'm going to stack these on top. So we have the Three of Pentacles. The lovers. Okay, so we have the lovers out here and the six of cups. Very beautiful energy. So maybe they kind of know what they want, but they just haven't figured out how to go about it. But let's clarify these. Oh, you know, <laughs> there's a tower. I gotta go. I'm gonna have to clarify that tower for you guys. I need to find out what this tower is all about because that three of pentacles can mean different things. And I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what the what spirit is going to pass on. You have nothing for major arcana. So there's a big shift in their feelings for you, how they're feeling. They passed energy. I feel like there's been a shift of how they felt here where they didn't know what they wanted to do. And I feel like here, this is what they want. Let's clarify the first that tower card because I need to know what that's all about. Well, that says all I need to know. Third party, your person, um, third party. And this is a person. This is not interference. This is not work. This is someone else. This could be a karmic. This could be just whoever. It was another person. Okay. So.
I'm trying to figure out if this is where it's, I told you guys I've been seeing the devil card a lot. If you guys pick pile one in the last pick of card, I told you guys I'm seeing this card so often. It's ridiculous. Um, but it could be this energy that I'm getting. It could be that it's on your end because you moved on and you're getting out of this heartbreak that now you're starting to connect with other people. You're starting to connect with another option possibly. And that's possibly what we're getting here. And But for the rest of you, I feel like it's where your person was in and out because of this karmic. Your person couldn't commit because they had other options. It's not just limited to one person. It could be multiple, you know, take that however it resonates for you guys, pile three. We have the lovers. And I was like, oh, it's the lovers. And we have the high priestess. I feel like there's been secrets in this connection. And a lot of it has to do with this. And so it's like spirit, um, the way that your person sees it, they know that they've had to stay away from you because of these secrets. I'm not really too crazy about this energy. I'm like, it's really good at first. And then it's like, ugh. Uh, but that's what I'm getting, you guys. That's what I'm getting. Like, I know people question, well, like, could it be this? Could it be this? I mean, I'm just going by what I get and what my intuition is telling me as I'm reading the cards. And this is what I'm getting right now. The Six of Cups, your person wants to reconcile with you, but they're afraid to. They're afraid of rejection. They're afraid that you're not going to want to be with them. That's why I feel like this is possibly more of your person than you guys, because they're afraid that they've done you wrong in the past, that they let their fears get in the way. They kept secrets from you, and they feel like it was best that you guys are separated, but they feel like there's something here. So with going back to the lovers and the high priestess, they're aware that there's something a little bit deeper here. There's a deeper type of connection. And with the high priestess, they know it might be something a little bit more spiritual. And they might have even labeled it as a soulmate. I don't think too many people are familiar with twin flames other than those who've really been exposed to it. And it's either way, it's a higher level soul connection. Right, so your person wants to have reconciliation, but they're afraid because of their past mistakes and they're kind of reflecting back on their actions of why they were so back and forth and not knowing what to do because they were juggling too many people. That's really what the Two of Pentacles was about. They were juggling and they didn't know what to do. Like, do I go with this option? Do I go with this option? Ridiculous, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> my opinion. I am trying to get um, the rest of your cards. I'm trying to get your oracle cards. These are messages. I think these are all your oracle cards. Okay. So we have a passion. Calling in your soulmate. Yeah. Desires re reconnection. What did I say, you guys? Winter Solstice. I think I'm going to place these over here. I'm not too fond of that card anyways. <laughs> um, move it down there. We already know what that's all about. And passion. So your person's feeling the passion. They're feeling that emptiness without you. That longing for you, missing you. Really recognizing where they went wrong. Realizing they made the wrong decision. That they shouldn't have been as flaky as they should have been. That they were with you. They should have been better. And now they are trying to call you back in, calling in your soulmate. So kind of what I was saying before about the soulmate, but I feel like for some of them, they are praying, praying that they get another, another opportunity with you. For some of them, they might be doing affirmations. For some, they might be trying to think of you so much, like trying to be in your energy field, because that's what happens, you know, like... Sometimes you might be doing a pick a card and you're trying to ask about one person and then this other person shows up and you're like, well, I'm not trying to ask about you. I'm trying to ask about someone else, right? And that's what happens because if that one person is still connected to you energetically, they can still like kind of mess with your energy in a way. So they're trying to make it where you don't forget about them or you're not letting go, or you're not moving on, that you're still wanting to be with you. Why? Because they desire reckon 
reconnection. I don't know why I can't say it right the first time. <laughs> reconnection. Like I'm trying to say recognition. I don't know. Um, reconnection the correct way of pronouncing that word and winter solstice for some of you yes they might be thinking of you know they might be thinking like wow it'd be so wonderful to be with this person during the holidays in the holiday season spend the holidays with them and um, but also winter solstice because i feel like they know how it's just been cold it's been cold without you it's not the same they don't have that warmth and that love that energy that you used to feed this person because you're like nope bye I'm not dealing with it no more I don't know what you want I know what I want bye and that's kind of what it was with you guys right and so winter solstice they feel it they feel it but yet they're trying to call you back in they're trying to get your energy back and see what goes on so very, um, very interesting pile three. Let's get to your messages. And these are going to be stacked on top too. I feel a connection to you that I've never felt with anyone else before. So that would connect with that lover's one, right? And how it's different. These spiritual connections are no joke. It's weird and crazy. And to those who don't, haven't experienced it, it doesn't make sense to them. That's why, in a way, it's almost like this club. But I feel like in most circumstances, some people end up with their soulmate. But at the same time, there's so many people out there that end up with a karmic. Um, because they can't get break out of those cycles, you guys. So, again, when I say karmic, it's not to be rude or anything. It's just, it's the person that they're meant to learn these lessons from. But when you're not willing to learn the lessons, when you're not willing to grow, when you're not willing to get out of that comfort zone and go move on, you end up with someone that you're not really too happy with because, in a way, you're settling. So, to you guys who are not settling, kudos to you guys. That is a big deal because a lot of people don't and... In a lot of ways, in the past, it wasn't where a lot of people were given that option, you know, especially many, many years ago. And even now, like anything that's prearranged, it's just, you don't get that choice, which is kind of sad when it comes to love, right? I, it cut out on me. Um, and that's why they were in and out all the time. They judged it like another whatever. And until you left, they realized that there was something special about you. There was something they just couldn't figure out. And then they realized that, oh, this could be a soulmate. Ow, oh, I love you. So that is the first I love you card. The other two decks did not get the I love you card, um, card come out. You guys know whether or not this resonates for you, right? Just take the messages that resonate. Don't try to force it. It's general readings. And just, if you know, then you know. But if you're not feeling it, don't force it, right? Give me, us, a chance, and I will show you every day why you made the right decision. So that reconnection, that reconciliation, wanting to reconnect, there you go. That's what they want. Would you say yes? Insecurity. And that's possibly what's holding them back. Fear. And that's what it is. That's what we're talking about here, you guys. That's the insecurity. Because we were talking about before, about wanting to reconcile, but being afraid of your answer. Being afraid of rejection. Afraid that you're not going to want anything to do with them anymore, even though they do want to be with you and they want this opportunity to prove themselves to you. I'm so tired of dancing alone, depression. Your person might be very sad at this point without you and guilty feeling guilty and it's just not a good combination you know it's just weighs very heavily on the mind on the heart and they don't want to be alone anymore they don't want to be without you i'm so empty without you isolated there we go so and when you're depressed you don't have desire to do anything you're like let me stay in bed i don't want to do anything i don't want to talk to nobody i don't i don't want to do anything just let me sleep let me sleep you know and I feel like that's where your person depression and isolation just completely makes sense and it's kind of scary too um because that's when things can go wrong sometimes but hopefully I feel like your person wouldn't because they do want to try with you guys again but they are in a dark place and you can see how dark these photos are right and even with this card back here 
can we kiss and make up? You guys got three cards talking about them wanting to reconcile, wanting to rec reconnect. There we go again. I do not know you guys. I'm sorry. Reconnect. <laughs> Shit. Can't say it right for the life of me. But your person wants to try again. They're not done and they're hoping you're not, but they're afraid that maybe you are. Okay, we got a few more messages. I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart and now I don't know how to let you go. Yeah, they didn't follow their heart. They just went wherever. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I was going to say, wherever their D led them, possibly for a lot of them, being honest, um, if we're being real here, um, especially with a third party. But also, if, you know, depending on the situation, if they were with this karmic before you entered the picture, then that's a whole different thing, you know? So, however, whatever the scenario is, there's so many different things. That's why I love hearing your guys' story because then it's like, okay, this part is what this meant or this is what this meant. Like the no card, I don't know if you guys selected that pile, but if you know, then you know what I'm talking about with the no card that came up in the last pick a card. But it, if for me, it feels like for most of you, it was where they were just kind of messing around with multiple people or another person. And even when you were in the picture, it just didn't really commit to you. I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time. They weren't, but now they're feeling it. I mean, I thought I love you card, you guys. I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. So if you guys have mutual friends, they want to know, but if not, they may just be checking up on your social media. They want to know how you're doing, what you're up to. Is there someone else in the picture? I worry that you've moved on. Yep, and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think about me? And that's where that insecurity and doubts are coming from because they know they weren't up front with you. They played around with your emotions. You gave up, you guys walked away, and now they want this reconciliation. Let's get to your songs, pile three. I was going to say pile four for some reason. Pile three. And the other thing that we're going to do is, um, well, no. The way that I was going to say, the way that I worded this is what songs do they want to dedicate to you. So that's how we're doing it this time. Not just what songs, like they're feeling or thinking. What song do they want to dedicate to you, Pile 3? So let's see. Burn, Usher. Is that one? Yeah, okay. Um, down on bended knee, boys to men. Wow. That's a deep song, you guys. You might, if you don't know that song, you might want to look up the lyrics for it. That's a deep song. Come on. These are so long. Um, how are you going to act like that, Tyrese? Do one more. One more. A lot of R&B, you guys. R&B songs have been coming out like in all the piles too. And the last one. Unchained Melody, Righteous Brothers. A little old school there for you guys. So those are the four songs. So again, pile four. Your person knows that they weren't what you needed them to be and now they want to reconnect so up to you guys um do i see movement um, what was under this the high priestess there's nothing about movement here so i can't really say anything about that but it just sounds like fears and insecurities are what holding your person back because they they are thinking about reaching out to you but they're afraid you're going to reject them Okay, so that's what I have, and that's your reading. So let me know if this resonated, you guys, or what resonated for you. And again, you know, if this doesn't, you might want to pick another pile. Um, hopefully the past energy let you figure out whether or not this was your pile or not, or maybe it wasn't your reading at all. Sorry if it wasn't. I just go by what I get. It's so random sometimes. I don't know what else to say to that. Um, for those of you interested in personal readings, the link is in my description box. However, I have not restocked the shop yet and I don't plan on doing so until maybe the end of next week. I still have my 
book I'm currently working on and I need a few days in between before I restart um, readings to be where I want to be with my energy but if you're watching this two months from now, then just go take a look. I have no idea what the status of my shop is going to be. But thank you guys for tuning in to another reading. Glad to have you guys here again as always. Thank you for your support, whether you're visiting or whether you're subscribed. But if you're not subscribed, click on that subscribe button. And remember to click on the bell icon so you get notified when I post another pick a card. And that is what I have for you, Pile 4. So I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much. Hope to see you on the next one, or personal, whichever. <laughs> Bye, Pile 3.